Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing, and today we're going to be going over client positioning basics. And it's behind the ear. Super fun. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be doing a bunch of videos about how best to position people, just some tricks to try and improve, hopefully access uh, to the area that you're tattooing, help you improve your stretch, as well as being able to relatively make the client comfortable. I mean, realistically, when you're doing a tattoo, the comfort of the client is, it should be left up to them. They should let you know when they're uncomfortable and what's going on. And you should be more worried about how effectively to do the tattoo and how to make yourself comfortable. So. Um, usually we'll start if we're going to be going behind the ear, we're going to be making sure that the skin is prepped, design is set, stencil is placed, all that stuff beforehand, right? And we're getting ready for the tattoo. If somebody's going to be getting a tattoo behind the ear, we're going to want a, a bed table, massage table, whatever, right? And we're going to try to like put the person on the table so that they are comfortable. I guess this stick person is going to be comfortable. Um, there you go. I'm chilling. Um, and what we're gonna do, and I've seen some people doing this, right? We need to get as, as clean direct access as we can, uh, especially trying to make sure that we're not just like all over the person while we're working. Um, the easiest way to do this, instead of coming from the side, like I'll see a lot of people tattoo from over here, right? And they've, they've got their arms and they're kind of like all up on someone's business. Um, if you're working with a person who is heavier sets, uh, if they're very chesty, or maybe they're just like kind of big in general, um, working this way can be very difficult, especially if you're like smaller in stature or maybe you, you know, don't have really long arms or you're short or whatever, you know, uh, your chair sits low in relation to the things you're working on. Um, cause you're just going to be on them the whole time you're trying to do the tattoo. It doesn't, it doesn't work very well. It actually works better. I mean, this is probably the most extreme case. I have seen people doing that surprisingly enough at some conventions. I was just like, Hey, why don't you move? You know, and they usually shoot me a dirty look and tell me to go F myself, but that's fine. Um, so how do we actually sit? to make sure that we can get this right. Um, realistically, it will say that this is gonna be on the person's right side of their, like behind their ear, right? The design is gonna be somewhere here behind their ear. Um, we're gonna be sitting at that same side of the body if they're flat on their back. We're gonna be sitting at the same side at that corner, right, of the actual table, sitting, right? Getting ready to work here. Um, why do we do that? Well, one of the hardest things about doing a tattoo behind the ear is making sure that the ear is held tight, right? So I've seen some people sit there and they'll try to hold the ear back and tattoo with it. And I mean, that, that can work, but there's a lot of extra work in relation to what you're supposed to be doing, especially if the person is maybe claustrophobic, they tend to move a little bit if they're ticklish, if they don't like the sound, if you're using a coil machine in their ear and they tend to like move a lot. Um, sitting there and trying to hold the ear and do this, just you end up chasing them across the table. It doesn't work very well, right? So instead, what we do is we end up, that positioning is just bothering me, sorry. Let's do this. So instead what we do, and my marker's almost dead. There we go. Um, we're gonna be sitting here on our fancy little stool. There we go, boink, boink, boink. Um, I know the perspective's off, bite me. Um, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna have our, our client take their own ear, right? And they're gonna reach across their body to do it and also turn their head. So they're gonna turn their head, right? They're, let's say their ear is here, their arm is gonna come up and it's gonna pull the ear forward, right? So they're gonna reach across their body, pull their ear forward and just kind of like turn their head sideways. And what this does is it opens up that entire space for you, right? So you can use their head is a place to rest your hand if you're stretching or if you need to like even use it for stability if you're doing like a latch, right? Um, and also just like make it simple. If they're invested in this and they're already pulling this way, if they start to get tense, the only thing that they're gonna do is further pull their head into the bottom of this table, right? They can't run away from what you're doing and it tends to make them sit a little bit more, I don't know, like better, right? Um, more better is such bad grammar. I know, just sorry. Uh, I haven't been doing very many videos, so uh, oopsie. Uh, <laughs> anyways, this is great, right? Because not only is it just flat, it's even, I mean, if you want to stand up and work or if you want to sit down and work and you know, you're leaning forward, it just feels much more comfortable. Um, if the side doesn't work because maybe they're a little bit smaller, they can't sit, just make them move around, right? Just like get them to position where you want to, but come over their shoulder regardless, right? You're going to come over their their shoulder as opposed to over their body and that'll open up that space so that you can do the tattoo really really easily um, if you do not have a massage table this is fun mm -hmm. 
What can we do instead? All right. I'd take a pause there and see if I was going to be like, like make sure I was going to say it correctly because this is going to say, no, just go get a table. That's not an answer though, right? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to take a chair, right? We're going to sit our client in it. They're going to have their, well, it's like way out of proportion, but anyways, we're going to have them sitting in it, right? Hopefully the chair has a little bit of a higher back than this. And what we're going to do is basically the exact same thing. We're going to have our client turn their head and they're going to take their other arm up, hold their ear and move it forward, right? So when they're sitting, I'm going to sit on this. I lean over a freezer when we do this, right? So when they're sitting, what they're going to end up doing is just basically taking their head and rolling like this. They're sitting in a chair that's high enough, you can literally just stand up and you can put pressure right down on their shoulders, everything, and just work right there, as opposed to having like, to figure out a way of them like leaning across two chairs or laying on the floor, or some other type of messed up stuff, right? Really simple. You can come at it from the same thing. Don't lean over them. Don't come from this side, right? That's just creepy and gross. Uh, come from the back, right? Or come from the side. It's gonna open up that space so you can better and more effectively do the tattoo. And that's it. Behind the ear, done. If you have any other tips, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, um, go to the website, check out some stuff, and uh, check in for our weekly check-in videos. There you go. Uh, where we're taking requests, we're gonna do um, critiques on art or tattoos if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.